Haley was diagnosed uh, December 5th of 2016, so we're coming up on two years. You know, I didn't really know know what to do. You know, my brain was all over the place, and it was just really, you know, get to the hospital as soon as possible. We were at one of her basketball games and realized her legs were a little swollen. The local hospital and diagnosed me like with nephrotic syndrome. I didn't know what to expect, you know, medication or anything like that. I had taken her into the ER and of course they admitted her right away, took a bunch of tests and the next morning we found out that she had nephrotic syndrome. We have tried probably every medication treatment. Unfortunately, she was steroid resistant. So we moved into a lot of the MMS, you know, cell sept, and um, we tried rituxin. Tachyonis. And then I had a biopsy last November to say I've got minimal change disease. She's had so many bad reactions to every type of medication that you can think of. I was on long-term steroids, and obviously that didn't work. And it even, unfortunately, pulled her out of school for quite some time. Then I went on to some immune suppressant tablets. So there was five different ones we did. Unfortunately, um, yeah. it's not just a hope anymore, it's real. And so, yes, as we now look at today where we are, um, there's a clinical trial for everybody. There are 18 different companies out there researching nephrotic syndrome. Those clinical trials, I think, really give us that hope that, you know, in the near future, something will come of it and be approved and, and out on the market. Launching this thing called Gateway. And Gateway is our way to connect the patient to a trial. Through the clinical trials, really, that is the only opportunity we have to not only gain more knowledge of, of the disease in general, but to ultimately find a cure, not, and if it's not in our lifetime, for the next generation.